And joining us right now from Winnipeg, Manitoba, is our good friend Don Amaro. Of course, uh, you might have heard his brand new song on CFW Week called Church. Uh, Don, first of all, let's go back to the early days and how you were drawn into music. First drawn into music, well, I'll be honest with you, it was a girl. It always starts with a girl. <laughs> I, uh, I, was, um, I was 15, and, uh, and I, there was a girl in, in my junior high school. Her name was Natalie. I think it's still her name, uh, and uh, and she. Uh, I knew she was in. She was always in the arts and sort of th- that kind of scene. And so, I auditioned for the school play, knowing that she would be there in the musical theater class, and uh, and I sang a song from the play Oklahoma. And when I was done, a couple of girls in the front row were crying, and the teacher was crying, and I thought, oh man, this I blew it. This is, I, I expected a big applause, and but uh, lo and behold, I got the lead role of the play. I didn't get the girl, but I got the lead role of the play. Uh, and, uh, yeah, so that was fun, kind of a funny way I got started. But at the same time, like, I, my family life was going through a lot of stuff. And um, I picked up my dad's old Gibson Hummingbird guitar uh, around the same time uh, and uh, learned the E minor chord and uh, started writing songs kind of around that. And, uh, yeah, that's, that was quite a while ago now, but that's kind of where it all began. Let's go back uh, to the early years, Don, and growing up in North Winnipeg. What did you learn from that part of your life? Street, you know, street smarts. You know, I was not really good in school, but uh, but the streets taught me a lot about just how to carry yourself, how to take care of yourself. You know, put, hold your head up when you need to hold your head up, put your head down when you need to put your head down. Right. Uh, but yeah, I mean, you know, the North End, for those that, that don't know, the North End of Winnipeg is predominantly where you hear a lot of the tough news, the bad news in Winnipeg. A lot of good love, a lot of good things still come out of that that place. But um, but yeah, it's you know you got high poverty rates, you got a lot of addictions sort of happen in that community, and so it's uh, it does have its struggles. Uh, and so yeah, I, I you know street smarts definitely from 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 the hood. So being a Métis, Don, does it have a big influence in your style of music? You know, to be honest, I think uh, you know like the traditional Métis uh, stuff that I know and have come to know over the years. Uh, I I think it it's in there because you know you you are what you are through your through your bloodline, through your family, and so that's there. Um, you know, I love a good jig, uh, so I think that that's there. But musically speaking, I don't know if it comes out fully in the same way. I mean, I don't think people that could hear my music would go, oh, this has got there's some jig quality. To well, maybe there's a couple, but um, <laughs> but it, I think I think for me the biggest part of it is is that if I can sort of be a role model to the Indigenous youth, not just Indigenous, but, but you know, predominantly thinking about, you know, the kids that, thinking about me, you know, 15, 20 years ago when I was that kid growing up in the hood, how can I speak to those kids nowadays and, and give them a you know a leg up and and, and help hopefully give them the uh, the inspiration that they need to kind of do good things for themselves? So that's that's always been my mo. Don, back at the CCMA's about a month ago in Saskatoon, I ran into you at the uh, hotel where I was staying. You were performing that night. You said, Jeremy, you got to listen to my new song, Church. And this, that's on Spotify. So I went back to my hotel that night, cranked up Church, was instantly drawn to the song. Now, when you first saw the lyrics for Church, were you drawn to it right away? Well, yeah. No, so I, I heard it, uh, and uh, it says it's the very first song I've, I've ever released that I didn't write. Right. Uh, I'm five albums in now, and I've written all the other songs, or co-written. Um, and so when I first heard it, actually, uh, my manager said, take a listen to this. We love it. What do you think? And I was like, no, nope, no, not for me. I knew it was a great song, but I just didn't know if it was it was a Don Amaro song. And uh, so then about a week had passed, and uh, and she said again, uh, listen, let's take another listen to this song. And uh, and I was, on that particular day, I was thinking a lot about my dad, who I had lost right. about a year and a half previous, and heard it again kind of with him in mind and realized that like a lightning bolt that it was not about me, it was about him, and it was his story. And uh, in some serendipitous way, I felt like this is a, a song about my dad. Mm. And it, if the fact that it fell on our desk, on our laps, it, it was, I, I really do believe it was meant to come to me. And, and I'm glad that I was the one that got to put it out. So. And you also recorded a music video for the song. Yeah, it's uh, just, just about probably about a week away from kind of getting that out the door. Uh, so fingers crossed we'll get that all done up. Yeah. So we're, we just finished re- wrapped and recording last week, uh, uh, the video. So, yeah, hopefully coming soon. We got Don Amaro joining us uh, here at CFWE. Brought his guitar. Would love to hear some live music, Don. Yeah, yeah. I'll play you guys a song. So I was, because uh, I've been to, vi- to visit you guys a couple of times now, and I can't right. remember which one I did last. So I'm going to do this one. This is, um, I mentioned my dad, and uh, I wrote this with him in mind as well, kind of a couple of years ago. And so I feel like this is another way that I, I honor him. This is called uh, Life's Been Sweet. All right. It's Don Amaro on CFWE. When 
this old car breaks down and it will start no more I know it has traveled the road and she's seen so many great days she'll be ready to go when this soul car breaks down and it's just like you it's just like me all that we are and all that we see the lines on our faces tell our story life's been pretty sweet when the old house falls down and they take her to the ground she will be taking with her so many memories she'll be ready to go when the old house falls down and it's just like you just like me all that we are and all that we see the lines on our faces tell our story life's been pretty sweet spinning round The sun keeps going down And it's just like you It's just like me All that we are And all that we see The lines on our faces Tell our story Life's been pretty sweet mm-hmm. Life's been good to me Amaro joining us uh, here at CFWE. Don, uh, life's been pretty good to you, eh? Life has been sweet. Yeah, yeah, yeah man. Yeah, like, like I've uh, blessed with a great manager, Lori Brown, standing over there from Port Swing Entertainment. And, uh, you know, family's good. Kids are great some of the time. <laughs> <laughs> So you have a new album coming out uh, early next year. Is there a date set yet? Well, uh, the wheels are turning. We got a couple of songs already uh, finished up, uh, and so we are hoping for springish. Uh, but I don't like to make promises until we know we've got it all ready to roll. But but we're we're well on the way for sure. Don, always great seeing you. Hey, thanks, brother.